Welcome to a wizard's lizard. I just watched Carlzor play it, and I had to get it. Because it's awesome. That's why. Oh, we've got a tutorial to go through, apparently. I have not played this at all. But it's basically Binding of Isaac with Wizard's Lizard. What's up? What? 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 Did you just throw a potion on my face? Oh, this is the wizard. Didn't even think about that. That's pissed off. Well, fuck. What are you doing in his house? Alright, so, like I said, it's it's pretty much Binding of Isaac. You can shoot in pretty much any direction. I don't know if it's just my analog sticks or not, but it kind of is a little bit picky in certain directions. Also, lights can be destroyed, so it can get pretty fucking dark. So I haven't done jack shit, but basically this museum thing here, on the left, you can see f bosses you fought, I think. On the right, you can see things you found up here. There's like some Kickstarter shit or something. I am particularly fond of this one. I did not see this side of the room in Carlsor's video. Still fond of that one. But I haven't found Jack, so this place is pointless. That's like your starting goal. This is a ball, you can kick around. This bitch wants to talk. It's so basically, all I know is that it's basically like Binding of Isaac. You find shit, you can get blueprints, which go down here to this shop. Or you can just find objects that you haven't found blueprints of in the dungeon normally. And if you rescue villagers, you get more money to start with. That's all I know. So let's do it. Holy shit. First kill werewolf, first kill bat. I do know that the first area is a sewer. I mean, god damn it, now I have Carlzor's curse of calling this a sewer. Thanks, Carlzor! The first area is a graveyard. That re that gave health, I think. The second area is a sewer, and that's as far as he got, so that's all I know. Let's see what we can dis discover on our own. I did learn that these birds are sons of bitches, as always. You don't have to kill those zombies like I was doing, but they drop gold sometimes, so why the hell not? That's how I feel about it. Damn it. Is 
This game has an interesting gimmick. Which I'm not going to explain yet. So I don't know why I brought it up. You'll see soon enough! Well, this actually, I'll do it now. Uh, this room is the resurrection room. You can die, and you can die once, rather. And if you die, you go to, like, a spirit world, which is the same dungeon, except not. There's, like, those guys come alive, I think. And you can go through some blocks and shit like that. And if you come back to this room, which there should be one on every dungeon area, I guess, you can come back to life. And so long as you don't die twice in a row without doing that, you're fine. You can just keep playing. This lets you see pe or enemy's health. Those are two weapons. Duh. Those blocks right there are a good example. That key is only gotten, or only capable of being gotten, if you die first. Which I will do after I've gone through the rest of the dungeon. This room has a Michael Jackson in it. He's right there. I'm gonna come back and kill him too, but you can only kill him if you die. It's another thing. probably health. I should have waited on that. Now I'm sad. I kind of feel like I want to do this with the uh, arrow keys so I stop slightly missing things because I'm really bad at hitting things at angles. I am so used to hitting things in the four directions. It appears that lights can also drop gold. I'm going to destroy every light for the rest of eternity. Who needs to be able to see anyway, right? So if you hit select, or oh, back rather, forgot I was using an Xbox controller, you can see the map. You can also see uh, the stuff you've got, but it doesn't really tell you anything about it. This is probably a boss room? No, not yet. Oh, Jesus! That was the werewolf right there. Guy's kind of a jerk. I'm pretty sure this guy is what the, the daggers would look like if you had those weapons from that shop. Jesus Christ!
This room is not going well. I was gonna die anyway, but still. This is a villager. This is one of the guys you gotta rescue to get extra gold. Room? Blueprint room. It's one of the blueprints you can get that unlocks an item permanently at the start. Here's the boss room. Alright. I saw Carl Zor fight this guy so I know what he does. Won't be too hard. Even though I don't got anything fancy to fight him with. Ow, okay, I might have been wrong about how hard this is going to be. Oh, I am sad that I just wasted that. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez, how did I get hit by a zombie? That makes me sad. I'm purposely running over these so that I can kind of get rid of these zombies ahead of time. Don't have to worry about them again. There we go. Now he's going to be an idiot and just stand there trying to summon zombies that don't exist. This fight is over. Okay, maybe it's not quite over. It's pretty damn over, though. There! I'm just gonna leave that there, because that's a life-restoring potion. I'm gonna need that after I kill myself on purpose. The treasure! Royal daggers. Oh my god, they fire so fast. Oh yes, I am keeping these. Alright, well, let's go kill ourselves on purpose. Beat up Michael Jackson. Get that key. Then come back here. Oh, I want this. Ranger's hand wraps. I forget where the, uh, resurrection room is. So there's Michael Jackson. And there's the key. 
resurrection room is up here. Okay, there it is. We'll have to go all that way back. Jesus. Okay. I don't want to die not right next to these assholes, because that could be bad. This is what happens when you die. So we're like in the spirit world or something now. I think I want to keep this, actually. Just because of the range. These are cool and all, but you have to get up close and personal with them. Does it tell me what my weapon's attack is? Yes, it does. Five and... Oh god, yes. Fuck those. I mean, they'd be good, because each one is technically ten. Since it could hit twice, but... So basically, you could just murder things up close, or you can hit them from across the entire room. I think I prefer this. No, no I don't. I mean, I prefer the range, but I've decided that I suck at shooting, so this would probably be better for me. Especially at the rate it hits. Yes, definitely want this. So if you stand on this for a little while... BAM! You're back alive and you have 25 health. As far as I'm aware, you can use that as many times as you want, but I might be wrong about that. I don't actually know. He didn't. This is my first time playing it. Seventy-five is fine. I could go back for them, them like fruits for a few more, but I don't care that much. I'll probably find more on the way. So I guess there's only three areas. Whoa. Forgot these things come alive sometimes. So I don't know if you get poisoned if you step on that green shit or not, or if you even can step on that green shit, but I'm not gonna do it. Oh god, I'm poisoned. I hope that goes away. Otherwise, I... Okay, I did. I wonder if that's what the key I got was. Huh. Oh, Jesus, fuck!
I love this weapon. I've decided. I chose correctly. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it sure packs on the hits. So, when Karlsdor played this, he didn't know what that does, but I'm pretty sure it cures poison. Oh, damn it. I don't want to be dead yet. I wonder if they fight ghosts and shit. At least I got that key already. Oh, there's a douchebag in the swamp. Well, I guess we're going this way. Lots of stuff, oh god. Fucking Zoras, man. Damn it. Alright. That, that could have been worse. Wow, I didn't kill the other one in the other room? No, oh, whatever. Dude, those have, like, humongous range. Oh, Jesus. I'm not ready for this room. Fuck. God damn it. I guess I was ready for that room. Well, I can't afford any of this shit, so... That's cool. Oh god. I would really appreciate a resurrection room. I definitely can't afford that motherfucker. So, is this map like... Okay, never mind. I thought the map might have to scroll, but I think it just uses the same amount of area for everything. Damn it! Holy shit. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Let's just avoid those in case every one of them can, in theory, come alive at random. Ah, good. Make me live again. When you do- oh god, you can only use it once, never mind, I didn't notice it disappeared before. That's probably bad. Oh Jesus, already? That's probably worse. I probably would have died in here if I hadn't resurrected, though, so... Alrighty. Where were we? Trying to not die. I remember now. What is with these jelly robo spiders?
The boss was up top all along. Damn it. Damn it! Holy crap! Get rid of that guy immediately! Holy crap! Superior! Anti-freeze ring. Spectacular. I need to go back for those stakes. A villager! guys. No! Oh, Jesus. All right. I'm pretty sure that's the boss room. So let's go back for those stakes. I need them very badly. Wrong line. I don't think I'm going to beat it, this boss, I mean, because I know what this boss does, and I'm not going to have the distance to survive it. Oh, jeez. Here goes nothing. Jesus. 
Rat. Maybe. I might still be able to do this. 